Welcome to episode 40, how to get quoted in the media. Welcome to the PR Playbook Podcast with Ranjini Joshua, the only podcast that teaches you how to strategically navigate the world of public relations and social media and grow a powerful brand. Hello and welcome to episode 40. Have you ever looked at a news station or read an article and wondered maybe how other founders or CEOs are getting quoted in these stories? It's probably not a happy accident. It's probably a PR person placing them that way, there, but um, that doesn't mean that's the only way to get in there. So today I'm going to give you some insider tips on how to get placed in the media as a thought leader, a commenter, an expert. If you want to be considered a thought leader, then you have to prepare yourself in this situation to get quoted or to get asked for expert insight. So these are the few tips that might help you get started and get positioned for this kind of activity. Now, first, you have to have your basics down. First, prepare a brief bio that highlights your expertise and why you're an expert. So think of yourself in the biggest form possible. How many years of experience? What are your degrees? Um, what are awards you've won or big clients that you've had? I know it's tough sometimes to put yourself in the shoes of how you want to be viewed as a professional, but if you can't see yourself there, nobody else will. Make sure you note, you know, any authored articles or publications, and this is all in text. So it should be maybe two paragraphs of a bio. And it's always nice to have like a long bio and a short bio, depending on um, the different rules for publications or broadcasts, they'll be able to publish one or the other. Second, have a really nice high resolution headshot and a lifestyle shot ready to go. So headshot is basically, you know, the face face forward headshot that you might have, white background, smiling, really nice, maybe up to your bust. And then a lifestyle shot is more like, you know, you laughing or it looks like you're working or you're walking, you know, it could be anything. You could be enjoying a hobby. But make sure you're the only one in the shot and it's high resolution, which basically is 300 DPI dots per inch. You might want to have both of those handy um, so that you can have a little perspective. And if you want more, I mean, three to five headshots is always a good number to have. I think investing in this is really great because it always makes you look much better and positions you as really the expert that you are. So the first thing you want to do when you're getting ready for this kind of activity is kind of set up some goals. Um, and I would set up like a monthly time to go over topics because this is a way of you being relevant and timely with what's going on in the news and what's going on in your industry. So I would maybe take a few, maybe a couple hours, like the day before a month starts or at the very beginning of the month to outline, like these are the three to five topics that I might be talking about this month. And so figure out your position. Being able to talk about relevant current events is key but what is your position on those current events? And the more sexy things you could say, the more controversial things you could say about it, the more likely it is that you are going to be leveraged as an expert. So have something really insightful to say, have a solution. And if you wanna stir it up, um, stir it up. Know how far you're willing to go. And obviously the more you're willing to bend the rules, the more exciting that is for people to listen to and include in their stories. Next, whatever three to five topics that you've kind of come up with, develop your can response or statement. And so this will serve as a foundation for when you're ready to respond to something that hits the news. You can grab a statement and then make a few tweaks to it and then send it off. And that way it like reduces the amount of time that you have to spend in the moment. If you see an article and you're like, oh, I want to respond to it, it's already it's already ready to go. You might just have to like edit it for like five, 10 minutes. Lastly, you may want to make a list of reporters or outlets that you think are most relevant to you that particular month, or you've been thinking about it, or you really want to be an expert or position there. If it's broadcast or news, make sure you're watching the daily news and that you respond right away. But identify five to 10 people who might be controlling editorial content. So that's typically on a broadcast, it's the producer, and those emails are found directly on those news websites. If it's written, then you might want to look at the EIC, who's the editor-in-chief, or the content director, or on the digital media director, or the online media editor. So um, you might want to have a few different contacts. And this is the moment where you create relationships. So what you could do 
proactively, if you spend one to two hours doing this at the beginning of the month, I promise that you'll have some kind of result where you'll feel good about spending the time. It'll definitely be worth your time. Follow-up is key if you're a really, 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 you know, want to get a placement. But let's say you just want to put yourself out there and you do it every month and you kind of see it as a newsletter and you add it to something that you're doing, almost like a newsletter distribution or something. Then at the beginning of the month, what you could do is say, hey, you know, my name is John Smith and I'm an expert in artificial intelligence. This month, I see there's a lot of interesting trends and these are the things that I'm talking about. If you're writing a story, please contact me and I'll be happy to make some commentary. And of course, you're going to make a case for yourself a little bit more than what I just said, but like also why they should contact you because you're an expert in AI and you've worked with these many companies. And then you list those three little bullet points that you outlined earlier and your position on them. And if it's interesting enough, they might want to pick it up and write it. So it could be an activity you do every quarter, every month, but then them seeing emails from you on a regular basis, they'll start to get to see your name. You keep calling yourself the same thing. So consistency is very important. Don't one month be an AI expert and the next next month be an expert in economics. You can't do that. Make sure it's consistent. Your branding for your personal self needs to be consistent with what you're saying and what you're pitching. I hope these few tips can help you get started as an expert thought leader or an expert commentator. If you have questions about any of this or you want to help craft your story, feel free to shoot me an email directly at Ronjini, that's R-O-N-J-I-N-I at thesilvertelegram.com. Make sure you let me know that you're coming from the podcast, um, like which podcast you might be coming from, just so I can respond as fast and as efficiently as possible. Also, I have some really exciting news today. If you want to learn more applicable tips like these and get more comprehensive lessons around PR for you or your team, I'm really, really excited to announce the first ever PR Essential Summit that will be happening on December 4th, 2020. That's a Friday. It's an all-day summit. This is a, for startup teams, entrepreneurs, marketers, brand managers, anyone who wants to learn how to do the basics of public relations, get started on building your own strategic PR campaign. We will hear from journalists, PR professionals, copywriters, investors, other experts on insights on how to pitch and place yourself in the media, how to create a strategic PR program, how to approach social media, pretty much everything. It's all encompassing as far as like public relations, DIY stuff. The summit is one day summit. So it starts at 7.30, ends at five, I believe. And there are inside of that summit, there's five live workshops where you can basically like hammer out your PR strategy, write a press release, create a media list, create pitches, learn the skills you need to write and place um, your brand, your company, yourself in the news. And those are live. So they'll be interactive and you can ask questions during those summits or those panels. And then there will be a closing fireside chat from prominent journal journalists from TechCrunch, USA Today, KTLA, and EBP Man Reviews, who is like one of the big YouTube reviewers on, on YouTube. So it, it's going to be really fun. We have some great people lined up. Um, you can see the speakers list that's available now. Um, you'll see the link to the virtual uh, the PR Essentials Summit here in the show notes. But um, you can also check it out um, at thesilvertelegram.com and you can register on our site. There's a couple of links back to the actual summit itself. But yeah, you can find the link to PR Essential Summit in the show notes and please register, invite friends. It's going to be a really, really awesome day where you can basically get everything you need to learn PR. As always, we appreciate show feedback and suggestions on topics, you can email me at podcast at silvertelegram.com for show suggestions or feedback or comments. But for direct um, advice and help, please just feel, feel free to email me directly. Also sign up for a quick call to discuss your potential project, campaign, any PR questions you have. Um, we have some links on our contact page where you can um, schedule a strategy call for 30 minutes with me. So I'm always happy to help. So thank you for listening. I hope you are on your way as an expert thought leader today and be well. Catch you next time.